All right. Big special thanks to uh, Mr. Adam Epstein from Saturday Night Live Films. Thank you for joining us and uh, giving us some of your time. We're going to turn now to Ms. Lindsay Miller, our chat host, with a question coming in from the internet. Actually, more of a comment. All right. Annalise and Video Maniac would like to send their birthday wishes to Jesse Miller. All right. So that's uh, Annalise <laughs> Gonzalez all the way from Guatemala. Thank you for watching the show. <laughs> Thank you for your birthday wishes. The show today has turned five. I, I've turned 34. So I, th I think the show is winning. Uh, all right. So now we get to spend a little bit of time on our gear segment. This is a super cool piece from our friends uh, Liebeck. They're in Japan, traditionally known for their awesome tripods and their Swift Jib 50 kit. What they've presented us with today, they're calling the Alex, A-double-L-E-X. Not to be confused with Alexa, this is for your smaller cameras. This is for your DSLRs. I'd even go up to a C100 on this. Maybe, uh, maybe like an AF100 from Panasonic, maybe your NEX F, uh, FS100 from Sony. Don't put an Alexa on here. Don't confuse the Alex with the Alexa. This is lightweight stuff, all right? So what you're looking at is a complete package. Tripod down here, slider up here, and so importantly, a flat base tripod head right on top. So again, we're, we're sort of in a compact package. We've got a 30 inch wide slider, 30 inches wide from, from front to back, or left to right, depending on how you're sliding, right? Um, the tripod itself is super lightweight, 5.5 pounds for a tripod, you can carry that anywhere. It's about 2.9 pounds for the tripod head. Again, when I say you can carry it anywhere, these things come with their own cases, little travel bags, pretty sweet. Um, this 30 inch slider has a flat base built into it, just like the flat base on this tripod head. So if you're looking right here, flat base, you've got a little claw that you can spin to get it level, same as the head. This we've spun on right onto the uh, slider. If you wanted to take the slider off, no problem, you take the slider off, put the tripod head right into the legs. It's a little interchangeable kit. Verge, do we have that overview photo that we can show them? That's it, all right, so if you just want the uh, tripod and head, that's the top view, that's no problem at all. If you just want the slider and the head, again, no problem. You can see that the slider comes with cool little outrigger legs so for you know mounting it on a tabletop or on the floor or whatever you really wanted. But what we've got here is the bottom one. That's the tripod head, the 30 inch slider, and that lightweight tripod. So um, let's, let's go back to cameras for a second. That's this whole kit right here, everything minus the camera, and that's a $784 package. Pretty good, pretty good. If you wanted the slider alone because you've already got your tripods or you just wanna use it on a tabletop, that's 436 bucks. And that includes the little, the little travel bag over there. Um, and this is even cooler, all right? So right now we've got sort of a, a, a level slider so we can go back and forth. Uh, so back and forth, or if we were going this way, we could do a little bit of left and right. But if we added a second head, so you can imagine, we'd put the first head right here on the tripod. Second head is right here on top of the slider. If you wanted to do totally vertical sliding, Verge, do we have a, a slide that would show vertical sliding? Check this out. This is where you've got the tripod head on top of the tripod. Look on the right side of your image there. Um, I wonder, Verge, if you have the capacity to zoom into that. And if you don't, it's okay. Anyway, on the right side, on the right side of your screen, you're gonna see that there's a tripod head that's sort of tilted 90 degrees, and the slider's attached to that. On top of the slider, or, or, or let's just say attached to the slider, is another tripod head where your camera mounts to. That's pretty awesome. That's for vertical operation of the Alex S package. Again, don't, don't confuse that with the Alexa. I don't know what they were going for there. They should have called it maybe like a C100S package. We'll talk to their marketing department later. Um, <laughs> A couple of things that you want to that you want to find out about your slider before you uh, before you buy your slider. And number one, how does it sound? So I'm going to get my I'm going to get my mic really close to this. Sliders that are cheaply made are super loud. So if you were trying to do a if you're trying to do a slide from left to from left to right or whatever, it would be really loud, like clankety clackety. You know, you couldn't even use a, a, a microphone on your camera. So just have a listen to this. That's pretty smooth. Not too bad, and, and obviously the slower you go, the less noise it'll make. But even at full speed sliding, it's, uh, it's almost, usable, almost usable to put a, a microphone right on here. <laughs> How, uh, <laughs> great. Let's turn the camera on so you can see what we're doing. <laughs> How do they get that camera slider to be so quiet? It's eight ball bearings. Verge, do you have a, a, a slide that might show eight ball bearings? 
There they are. Look on the left side of your screen. Uh, eight high quality ball bearings that allow for super smooth pushing. Um, if you, if you want to see the back of the tripod, uh, don't, don't cut away from that picture just yet. All right, now we're ready for you. If you want to see the back of the tripod on camera one, you'll see that there is a friction knob right here. So right now I've got uh, no friction added so I can really zoom that thing around. It gets a little bit loud. Uh, not as loud as other cheaper manufacturers, but if I crank this uh, friction knob down a little bit more, there's no, there's no super fast sliding anymore. It's, it's sort of uh, applying a little bit of slowdown juice on it so that those eight ball bearings have a little bit more friction to go and you're, it's forcing you to do a slower, smoother slide. On another episode, we're gonna show you footage coming right out of this camera and it'll look like this. Just imagine yourself looking from where I'm looking. We're gonna go really slow. Get Look at all that audience laughter right through the camera. What if I did this? What if I did this? Okay. And now, what if I did this? Did that give it to you? No? <laughs> now hit the button. How's that? We're going to have a large chunk to cut out. Anyway, the Alex S package slider from our friends at Liebeck, 784 bucks for the whole thing. Of course, you can come to your friends at Midtown Video and rent it. Let's cut to Miss Lindsay Miller with a question coming in from the internet. Yeah, I was just curious to know, does it have a motor for time lapse and stuff? Annalise, thank you for watching. And of course, thank you for offering us your questions. No, it does not have a motor for time lapse. This is more of a manually operated thing. I mean, 30 inches, come on. You, you need a machine to do that for you? No, but I understand, I understand the point. Um, we, we, should, uh, we should contact our friends at Liebeck and say, hey, in a future release, why don't you guys get something together so we could put a motorized slider on here. Uh, you know, I want to just do a quick public service announcement. If you're out there trying to make a living in video production, as many of us are, don't rely on a DSLR camera. Because look at what trouble you have trying to get a video output from such a silly device. Uh, currently, a Canon 5D Mark III is the only DSLR camera I know that'll put out an HDMI, um, that'll put out a live high definition output on an HDMI source without having to push buttons and wonder how to get your, your stuff out there. Uh, so you're already spending 3,500 bucks on a DSLR. I, I urge you, I, I encourage you, experiment with a camera such as the C100 from Canon for, for just a little bit more that actually is gonna give you a live proper video output even though you're using the eyepiece. Imagine that. So this has been your public service announcement from your friends at Midtown Video. Step up from DSLRs. If you're shooting video, get a video camera. Take it from me, you're, you're asking for failure. <laughs>